Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou would not, be but sworn my love, and I no longer be a Capulet. <laughs> "'Tis but thy name that is mine enemy. Thou art thyself, though, not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. <laughs> oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Oh, Romeo, doff thy name. <coughs> And for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. Hello, everyone. I'm Mary Poppins. I love William Shakespeare because he was brilliant and, of course, British. Many of you, I am certain, have heard the very famous phrase, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. But I checked the first folio, published in 1623, and it says, a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. And so, that's how I say the speech, because I like to see things done properly. Don't you? If you'd like to see more of my adventures with Shakespeare, please comment below. Which speech would you like me to do next? I'm a big fan of the Bard. And of course, everything I do will be practically perfect. Spit spot! Anon.